Hey, Des, can you hear me okay? Yeah, I hear you. Go ahead. Yeah, I'm going to let you turn the call off because we, we've got some awesome speaker on here today to do the training. Okay. But I am fired up. We just keep it moving. But, man, when I tell you, Des, you can tell the story. You saw what happened with Ben Galinsky. And you saw what happened with Skinny Body Care when we dropped a weight loss product. You saw it happen with your own lying eyes. Yes, I did. I saw it with my own eyes. <laughs> oh, my so God. Take heed, and about, take, take, take heed and get in front of what's getting ready to happen. What's about to happen in the next couple of weeks is going to blow this industry again out the water. Do y'all hear me? See, people don't hear me. See, they playing that game. And we're going to play the game, too. Enough is enough. I'm tired. I'm sick and tired of being tired. We're going to help the average guy win. That's what this company's about. All this nonsense, we're going to knock the noise out. But watch what's about to happen. Back to you, Daz. Let's bring on our special speakers. I am so, I was so depressed the other day. You you know, Daz. You, you, you know. You know what I was going through. And I'm like, okay. Just calm it down. Settle down. Just settle down. Let's go. Let's go. Because what's about to happen is huge. When I say huge, everybody on this call right now is going to make history, going to make more money than ever made in their life if they just focus on the focus. Stay away from the noise. Stay away from the the games that's going on. Stay away from the nonsense. Just focus. Get to help to repeat that to Diamond. Back to you, Des. All right. Thank you so much, Tim, for them words. Yes, I, I encourage you as well. Stay focused. Ignore the noise. Put your head down. I do that all the time. I just focus and I literally put my head down. And even sometimes even in the chats and stuff like that, I have to put my head down and I literally just have to focus on what Desiree has set for Desiree, what my goals are for Desiree and my family. And that's what I use to do. I just keep my blinders on and, and I keep it, you know, I just keep what I need to do. And I say my positive affirmations every day for Desiree. So if you can learn to do that, guys, I can tell you, you will see major results in your own business. But without further ado, I am so happy to have this couple. I love to hear uh, hear from them. They always bring the value, um, both of them together as a team. Uh, you know, I always say together, everyone achieves more. And guys, you guys bring it all the time. And I, I, I love what you stand for. I love the fact that you are committed, which is one of the reasons why I personally, uh, you know, I, I, I like to see people who are committed to something and, and see it through to the end, because when you set your sights on a goal, that's the, that's the, that's the mission. You got to set your sight on the goal so that you can stay focused. Cause if I guarantee you, if you set a goal and then you hear, you hear it all over, um, it, it might not happen for you. It just might not. And if it do happen, it ain't going to happen this year. It ain't, it might happen maybe next year or maybe the year after, but it just ain't going to happen within the time frame that you set it out. Because one thing I do know, and this is my personal opinion, but I just know I can't chase two rabbits when I'm trying to set my eyes on the prize. And so I just say, set your eyes on the prize. And without further ado, I want to bring up a favorite couple of mine, and I'm so happy that they're part of this Live Good organization because, I, guys, I tell you, we got some phenomenal leaders in, inside of Live Good that bring so much value to our company. And you can take up from, I don't care how long, I've been in the industry a long time since I was 19 years old, but I don't care how long I've been in the industry. I can learn from each and every person and live good. Oh, yeah, I don't I'm good. Care who you are. I can learn so much oh, from sure. everybody. You know? And I've learned a lot just from their ideas yeah. and different things, the way they bring it. And it's like, wow, yeah. I love it. So, guys, take I'm your pen, cool. write cool. down things. And if it resonates with you, hey, run with it. Take it and get. let's go make it happen. And like Tim said, money. what's about to happen, guys? You need some money. We made, he made a lot, should I say, 
a lot of money when that uh, weight loss dropped with just that one product. So can you imagine we oh. have a lot of products and then weight loss is getting ready to oh. come in and it's going to knock everything out the box, out the park for a lot of people because they're going to see not only are we providing a great uh, product with great ingredients, but when they see the price point, it's just a no brainer. It makes sense. So without further ado, I want to bring up Josh and Brittany. Thank you guys for showing up to blow up and coming on our call to help our everybody in Live Good. And thanks so much for your commitment to Live Good. Thank you so much. We trust you and we value you. And so I say thank you from the bottom of my heart. Well, before I jump on, I just saw Mr. Nader Kazan unmute himself. So I want to give him just in case, because he's 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 moving and shaking. So just in case he has a he wants to speak, I want to give him an opportunity because I know uh I, he always brings the value. So Nader, please uh, oh if you got something to say, please share with us. My first of all, good morning, Britt. How are good you? Morning. Good morning. Good morning, young lady. Hi, Des. Hi, everyone. Brother Josh, everybody, everybody good? Everybody stay out of trouble? All everybody right. Everybody wave by the Nodder. Oh, hi, hi, everyone. Thank you so much, Josh, for that. Thank you, of course, Tim, for inviting me. I was in the middle of one Zoom. Hi, Pinky. <laughs> I was in the middle of one Zoom. Tim called me. I got to actually run down the hill. A buddy of mine is getting married at 10, and then our daughter is having competition. So, But when you all reach out, it's an honor and pleasure to be a part of your community. I'm truly blessed to serve you. That's what this is, ladies and gentlemen. I'm, 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 I'm just, I'm in awe of the trainers. You got lined up, but I want to share one thing with you. And again, thank you, Brother Josh, for, for allowing me to speak for a couple of minutes. You know that's going to go for half an hour. But that being said, here's the thing, ladies and gentlemen. I, I was just listening to you all. Find your approach. Find, it, it's, it's like what we teach on Sunday school. Find your gift. You're given a gift. Trust me. Trust me. You're given a gift. You just got to find it. The good news with Live Good is while you're finding your gift, while you're fine tuning, you're fine tuning your skills, while you're getting on the Fridays and while you're getting on a lot of team zooms. I mean, we have team zooms with 700, 800 people on the corporate zooms get 300, and that's the most beautiful thing. I like as a father for me to see my kids grow on their own, have their own parties, have their own kids, have their own businesses, and for us as a corporate team to see. Calls like this, Zoom like this, amazing leaders like this to step up and come out and share their hearts with the masses, with the rest of the one million family owners and family members of Live Good, it blesses my heart. So here's what I want to share with you. Your approach to get the Live Good word is your approach. You know your friends better than I will ever know your friends and vice versa. Here is what I said yesterday on the Zoom and Wednesday on the Zoom that it kind of blew up. I don't know, whatever the fast, the last uh, Facebook thing I posted. Ladies and gentlemen, we live in a world that everybody is, uh, not oh. everybody, but, but a lot of people are trying to do, look like what they're not. And I'm, I'm, I'm a, you know what? I got Tim Miller on here. I know I, Tim knows how much I love him. I know he loves me. I'm going to make it very simple. When we first launched Live Good, when we first getting going, that man right there was going from Hotels to hotels to use their background for, 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 um, uh, to be able to do Zooms. I, Nodder, while we were getting the ball rolling, was shaving in this pool to save money on water here. But if you would see things on, on social media, you would never know that. So that being said, that, and, I, and I want to point out this, and that's why thank you, Josh, for letting me take a few minutes here. Your skill, your style of reaching out to your contacts, your beloved, is yours, is your way of doing it. But here's the good news. The good news is while you're doing it, you're getting healthy. You're paying $18 for something that costs us $12 to $13 to make. And we bring it to you at cost. That's while you're out there fine-tuning your skills of approaching. And here's the thing. When you, when you believe in something from the bottom of your heart, in my case, it happened to be my, my, my faith and my family in that very order and then live good in that exact order. You just, you, you don't really need to, how, how do I say it? You just have to be you. Just be contagious. I mean, what is sweeter than helping people save money and get healthy? What is sweeter? And as a business person, you stepped in and you're taking advantage of the timing. I get that. 
but the core is helping people get healthy. As a business person that you're in, now you can approach any way you want. You can talk to your friends any way you want. But as a business person, I'm a business person. Let me ask you this. Show me another way a company can direct sell to consumer a product that costs about $13 for 18. It's impossible. When y'all click why this model is revolutionizing the world of commerce and we're just starting the word of mouth, using the word of mouth. Recording in the, progress. Get it out. When you recognize that, then you will know. Then you will know what you're, you, you got your hands on. Like Trisha Costa sh shared a few weeks ago, one of the reasons traditional network marketing companies that sell amazing products for $80, a lot of those distributors, a lot of those IBOs, a lot of those um, affiliates go out there and buy attraction marketing, different websites, so on and so forth. And I'm saying it's bad is because deep in their heart, they're ashamed or they don't want to go tell their friends about the $80 product. And the, usually the excuse is, I don't want to go tell my friend Desiree, I don't want to go tell my friend Josh or Bid or Trisha or whoever about this company, about this opportunity until I start making some money myself. Well, the problem is you're never going to make any money when you go home, look this up, and you find that on Amazon for 40 bucks. That's why the number 2.8 month is such an accurate number. First month, you, they go in, they buy five or six of these to get started at a higher level because if you're in a race, you want to start closer to the finish line, right? Mm -hmm. That's how they sell you big packs, right? So you went to a meeting, you bought five of these, five times 80 is about 400 bucks. You come home, you're excited, you looked it on the internet. And now with the internet, the good and the bad both is out there. We all know what I'm talking about. They go out the next thing, you know, they look at somebody else who was in that company who bought the same pack and went home and that person found it for half price on Amazon and then found somebody who bought it for the same amount of selling it on eBay because he or she is trying to get out of the business because none of her friends are willing to pay 80 bucks for it. That's what you're changing. And when that market is like that, the $220 billion a year industry that's like that, that people have to get tricky, have to get skills, have to get to trainings, have to go watch Tony Robbins and listen to uh, you know, my beloved uh, Jim Rome from the other side when he's serving the Lord in heaven and just to sell, learn how to sell. Well, you have to go through all those trainings if you want to sell this. When you know your friend is going to go on the very website of the company and look on the compensation plan and find out it costs the company six. See, so here's what I'm saying real quick. Again, I know I said it real quick five times. When you're approaching your contacts right now, the next year, ladies and gentlemen, you want to go get warriors. Period. Yes, everybody needs our product. Bless everyone. Be the light on top of the hill. Shine for everyone. Be the rain. Rain on everyone. Get them on these products. Let them get healthy, stay healthy. And believe you me, when people get on these products, even though they swear on whatever they believe in, that they will never refer a single person because every opportunity they've been involved with or got involved with, they lost their shirt and their friends lost their shirt and they lost friendships. They get on these products. They're on it for two or three weeks. They inevitably start sharing. The inevitable session in other opportunities, when you buy 10 of these at 80 bucks each and you go home, find them for half price on Amazon or on eBay, that's why you need all those leads. That's why you need all those skills of, well, you talk to your contact, wait for an answer. And then when they give you the answer, make sure you come back with this rebuttal. What? No, it's a 33 cents a day opportunity. Be honest, be fun, be contagious. Be contagious. See, all the other opportunities that I got involved with, companies I launched or whatever, you would see people coming and the beginning, they're all hot, 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 they're going. But then you could just, I could time it that people would go on two or three months and go, oh my gosh, I don't know if I can do this to my friend Bobby, who's a firefighter and is also working a part time job because for whatever reason, I can't do to others what was done to me. But guess what? Here's what I'm going to end it with I can call my brother in faith and his amazing wife, Britt. I can call Josh and say, hey, Josh, not her. How's it going, bro? Great. Hey, man, I'm running out. Got a quick question for you. I see you and Britt are doing amazingly on social media. Like I said, hope all is well. Hey, brother, I just started a new business, getting healthy. But most importantly, looks like this is going to change the world of commerce. Do me a favor. I'm going to send you. Remember, do me a favor. I'm going to send you a video link. Take a look at it. Based on what I see, what you and Britt doing on social media, things going very well for you. Based on that, I know for a fact, not I guess, not maybe, I know for a fact that you and Brett know two or three people that might want to get healthy and stay healthy at these prices, but at the same time, be a part of potentially the Amazon of home-based business. 
For me, asking people who do you know has worked very well. It's also helped me recruit people that I think they're smarter than me, that I think they're more business minded than me. Why? Because I can go to my, I don't have an uncle with this name. But if I had an uncle named Bob, who was an attorney making 10 million a year, and I always looked up to him, I can go to Uncle Bob and present live good to him. Say, Uncle Bob, hey, respect you, appreciate you. Hey, man, you know, I look up to you. I just started a new business. I'm coming to you because I need a favor. I want you to take a look at something for me. Let me know who you know. We're changing the world of commerce, please. I, I have a lot of respect for you because of your success and what you've done for my family and I, whatever the case is. Do me a favor. Take a look at my tour page and let me know who you know. Drop the hint page, the hint words, and let them watch the video. Is it the best video? No, it's not. But it's getting the point across very, very well. What it's doing that Ben always talks about is making people not being able to unsee that we make the product for 13, bring it to the end user for 18. Other companies make it for about seven, have to bring it to you for 80. That's why people could be 2.8 months because they realize what was done to them and they're not going to do others what was done to them. So again and again and again, we live in a world of social media that people, unfortunately, some people live in a world, live, live a life or show a life that's not theirs. It's inevitable. Come on. All these apps have their own filters and there's nothing wrong with it. There's nothing wrong with it. Okay. But that being said, use that. Your goal, your mission is to get as many people to fall in love with LiveGood as possible within the next six months, within the next six months. And knowing that right nowadays, everybody on the internet, most people on the internet, especially the ones that are talking about money and getting healthy, are using filters to look skinnier and parked in front of mansions and pretending it's their home in a rented Ferrari. Why not reach out to them for the next few weeks? Say, hey, Johnny, hey, Bobby, hey, Sally, I know you're doing impeccably well. I'm blessed beyond measure as well. My company is absolutely exploding. We actually just got into China. Based on what I see, what you're doing on social media and your amazing success, I know for a fact, I don't, I don't think, I know for a fact that you know two or three people that might want to be a part of this opportunity, part of this revolution we call Live Good. I'm going to send you a video, not may I. I'm going to send you a video. Do me a favor, my beloved, my rich uncle, my rich aunt, my crypto master, whatever. Take a look at this five-minute video. Let me know who you know that wants to be a part of this. When you do that to people, inevitably, they're going to do to others what was done to them. What are they going to do? They're going to go to somebody that they look up to and say, hey, because they can say that. They can go to somebody who looks up to them. In the early stages of live, the first three or four years, you want your foundation to be the people on the Zoom. Warriors, business owners, you know, former law enforcement, people that are out there buying and flipping property, people that are, that are, do, that are just set. They, I mean, I know somebody on this Zoom that she owns rental properties in multiple countries. She doesn't, she's not doing live good to make money. She's doing live good because, because, she, because she wants to be a part of helping people to get healthy. And guess what? Because she's going all out massive action, because a lot of people on this Zoom are going to go all out massive action. I'm talking all out massive action. You're not asking for opinions. You're not asking for any of that. No. You said, hey, do me a favor. Let me know who you know. I love you all. Keep it simple. Vegas, ladies and gentlemen, get to Vegas. My kids competing the next day. I'm going to drive as fast as I can to come up there and give all of you a hug. Thank you, Josh. Sorry that I took your time. I love you, my brother in Christ. Great. You look great. All of you, Des, you're the best. Love you all. And thank you again for everything. Bye. Oh. Thank you, oh, Nada. Beautiful crowd. Thank you, Nada. <laughs> Love you. Bye, Des. So so grateful you, for Nader, for Nader's heart. Uh, man, I've gotten I've become close to Nader in the past year, and uh, it's so much more than just a business um, with him. It's it, Nader is genuinely. Um, if you saw the text messages he sends me, ninety percent of the time it has nothing to do with. Uh, business whatsoever and it's all heart or um, we have we share the same faith and so we talk a lot about that so I, I absolutely love Nader but let that actually leads great into the topic that I'm going to be we're going to be talking about today um, but before that just in case anybody doesn't know who we are quickly I want to share the the journey as fast as possible so you know where our heart is coming from when we talk about what we're, what we're about to talk about um I'm a former police officer. Brittany and I met in, uh, we met in college. Um, we were 19 years old, um, started having babies really young. Actually, our, actually, we were 18. Our oldest was born on Brittany's 19th birthday. Um, and 
And so they, they share a birthday, which is coming up March 29th. Uh, our oldest son will be 20 and Brittany, she'll be, uh, she'll be 25. So um, <laughs> anyway, that being said, so we met young, started a family young, all that. Um, I was pursuing a dream to be a police officer. So I was going to criminal justice uh, uh, courses because I, I'm a former foster kid. I'm a former foster kid from Southern Illinois, and I was always told I would either end up on drugs, I would end up in prison, something along those lines. And so, and I have 12 siblings, and many of them have been in prison and on drugs and all those things. And I just wanted to make a difference. And so I didn't want to go down that statistical path. And so that's why I pursued law enforcement. Um, in my mind, that would ultimately be that would be a, a way to make a difference and it would be success, right? And so fast forward and that's what we did. I became a police officer. Brittany became a 911 dispatcher um, at 30 years old. We had been in that career for seven years by that point. And we were looking at our life saying, this isn't it. Like we're struggling. We're struggling bad. Our marriage was falling apart. I worked second shift. She worked midnights. We had three. Our kids were little back then. They, they, we have three kids, um, and and we were fighting all the time and threatening divorce and, um, and things were just not good. And so th that brought us to a breaking point where we said we need something. Like we need hope. We need something. I may get emotional and bring myself back to that. <laughs> it is what it is. But we were at a point where we were just like, we need hope. We need something. Like we were, we were lost. And so that's what led us. That's who we are at the core. So when I talk about the things I talk about, I want you guys to know who we are at the core and why we started in this space and what we believe in in this space. Because I made a post on Facebook that I was looking for a way to earn an extra income. And, and a guy said, hey, check out what I do. And so he shared AdvoCare with me. It was a company in the nutrition space. And we we didn't know any different. We didn't know nothing about the industry, but we got started and, and in that company. And don't get me wrong, I'm forever grateful. But through the journey, we've learned a lot of things. And I'm going to talk about that that way as we talk about what we're going to talk about. Uh, it, this makes sense. In that company, I'm grateful because we grew a lot. We were challenged a lot. We became better people. Or I, I gave my I gave my life to Christ. I just a number of things through the people that I met that led me. I got on Bible study and started learning, digging into Scripture. So so many great things came from that. But there were also some icky things. There were also some icky things because if you look up Advocare, you're going to find out that Advocare was forced to restructure by the FTC in 2019. Um, and because they were a front load company. What's a front load company? A company that has people buy big packages to maximize their commissions up front, right? And so we, when we got started, we spent $2,400 for $3,000 worth of products. We had to put it on a credit card and, and that stuff just isn't okay in the industry. We didn't know any different. Don't get me wrong. Um, we were looking for hope. Like I said, that's where our hearts were. But we were ultimately able to build a decently successful business, um, able to walk away, brought Brittany home from uh, 911 dispatch. And shortly after, my employer mandated me to work an overtime shift on my son's kindergarten graduation. And, and I made the decision to come home. In 2019, that was in 2015. In 2019, so we, we do very well over the next four years. And um, in 2019, whenever... Advocare restructured and was forced to restructure, we lost 95% of our income. And so at that time, I did a couple of things. Um, number one, we had already been using, uh, we had already been using CBDs from another company. Um, and that because our company didn't have it, we had been using CBDs, and that's when CBDs were kind of starting to uh starting to, uh, were up and coming. Um, and so we said, you know what, we'll we'll start. We'll start promoting this, but we didn't want to jump to another nutrition company. Um, and so uh, we, we started promoting that and then uh, confirmed speaking. I don't speak. Speaking language is English. Sorry, this just asked me what my speaking language is. Squirrel. Uh, so anyway, so we started I, I, we started promoting this company and quickly we realized like this company is not helping people. Within a couple of months, we realized this company, it was a progressive buy-in. And we were like, man, this is not good. So Brittany and I, our hearts just were not with that. That that turned uh that turned us to I ultimately started driving for Uber 
to to fill the gaps. Um, also started uh, got into the crypto space, um, and so I've been burned there too. Uh, I say that to tell you guys I've been burned in that space too because uh, I've made some made some uh, trusted some people in that space that uh, burned us. And then me and Brittany also started in uh, growing a church that was a dying church. Brittany became the kids director at that church, and I became a deacon at that church. And um, over the course of the next couple of years, we built that. That helped to grow that church by uh, glory to God, uh, grow that church from 30 members to over 300. So it is, um, and we were blessed to be part of that. And and so um, uh, then in 21, we, we said, you know what, we miss doing what we did in the nutrition space. So we started looking um, and we stumbled across another company in 2021. And, and we said, you know what, maybe this one's a good one. And we got started with it. And um, Sadly, it wasn't. Sadly, it wasn't. And after, and we gave it a good, we gave it a good two-year run. Um, and and we're grateful for that time because we met some amazing friends, amazing people that are very close. Mike Smith is on here right now. Um, as him, him and his wife Rainy are some of our best friends now, and we met them in that company. So I don't take from that, but I learned. I learned the. The ickiness, the shadiness, the the sliminess in the industry from many of these things. So where our hearts were when we saw Live Good, when we looked at Live Good, and we decided, all right, we're this is this is it, this is it. There's no other company for Josh and Brittany Cross. There's we wouldn't even be in the industry anymore after after that if it wasn't for Live Good. I'm just going to be honest with you because the the Brittany and I we're at a point now financially just due to some great savings and investments we've made that I don't need, I don't need a live good check. Just going to be honest with you guys. Um, our bills, we live very small. Every single bill we have is 2,500 bucks a month. And we make enough outside of live good to where we don't have to have a live good check. So why we do live good, this is why we do live good right here. Because this is the first time when we saw live good, we said, all right, there's a lot of people over the past nine years that have trusted us that have trusted us and we've let them down, that have put their faith in us and we've let them down. And that's not my heart. My heart is to, my heart is to help people and not hurt people. And there's a lot of people that have said, all right, we're going to join you. We're going to join you in this one, Josh and Brittany. And they've been front loaded or, and they've, they've been progressively bought in or, and they were stuck in an auto ship or, and they were sold overpriced products. And, and so we, we, we were done with that. And so when we saw live good, we said, we can actually, I owe it to the people who have trusted in us to actually help them win without them getting hurt whatsoever. They, no one gets hurt and live good. Even if a person doesn't get spillover, like screw all that. I'm not even talking about all that. People are like, well, I don't get spillover fast enough. For 10 bucks a month, you're saving massive. The person signs up day one in live good, you're in savings. Day one, go compare the price of our frother to the cheapest one you can find on Amazon. I mean, you're immediately saving. So no one, absolutely no one, even if you're not making a check, Absolutely no one loses in live good. If you're not going to at least buy the products, then what's the point in joining, right? <laughs> if you know what I'm saying, if you're not going to save, then uh, uh, what's the point in joining? But then again, I guess people sign up for Netflix and never watch it. <laughs> so, whatever. But anywho, um, so no one gets hurt in live good. And so that's something that we can proudly stand behind. I'm not ashamed of anything, any, even when people say, I'm not getting spillover fast enough. So, like, get over yourself. <laughs> what are you talking about? So it, no one actually gets hurt in live good. There's nobody that uh, live good doesn't hurt anyone when it's just live good. Mm -hmm. When it's just live good. When 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 see live good is forty nine dollars an effort. So you can make money from a couple things. You can make money from money. So if you got money, you can use money to make more money. You can make money from effort. So if you don't got money, then you got to turn effort into money, right? To make extra money. And $49 an effort is what the investment for live good is. There's nothing else. You don't need other things. 
You don't got to pay for other things. You don't have to add. You don't have to uh, buy ads. You don't have to all buy funnels. You don't have to all that stuff. You don't have to do any of that stuff. And that's why I say if, if live good is the focus, then nobody gets hurt. Now, are there people that go off and do other things and spend money on all this and do this and that and that? And then they're, they're upset because they're like, I lost all this money. Yeah, but that's not live good. That's not live good. That's because you chose to add other things to live good. So what I'm telling you is the reason that Brittany and I he are here, our hearts are sold out. We don't just wear the shirt to wear the shirt. We don't just wear the shirt to say, hey, we're doing live good, but we're, we want to, you know, we, we're going to use live good to make you think that uh, we're part of the team and we're going to manipulate you. And we don't do that stuff. We don't just wear the shirt. Live Good's in us and what we stand, what Live Good stands for in this industry is in us. And that's why we're here. I don't need a Live Good check. I don't need a Live Good check. I don't have to be in the industry, but I've seen what this industry, the good of this industry can do for people. But I've also seen how bad the bad can hurt people. Especially when you have hopes and dreams. Again, we came to this industry. Here's the deal. In October of 2014, I was sitting in my garage in my squad car, ready to eat a bullet. I ended my shift. I went 1042. I pulled my gun out of my holster. I set it in my lap and I was considering taking my life that night. That's where, that's how hopeless our life was. So I think about when someone puts their hope, when they put their hope, when they put their, man, I'm, I need this so badly. The, the hurt that it can cause, the desperation, the loneliness, the pain that it can cause if that hope is snatched from them. And so I, I can only imagine what that would have looked like for us. And I'm so grateful that that wasn't our story. But I've seen that happen to people when, they're, when, they put, when their hope is like, man, this is my shot. This is my shot to make it. And so that's the people that Brittany and I are fighting for. If that's you. That you're who we're fighting for. That's why. That's why when people read, we don't care whose team you're on. We don't care about cross line, down line, all that stuff. We care about investing in people. We care about helping people win, no matter what. Who you are matters more than what you do or how much you make. Who you are matters more than what you do or how much you make. And what I mean by that is a lot of people get lost in the. I'm, you know, I used to, when I was a police officer, I used to, I used to love these pins because we got a pin uh, every time we hit a, a benchmark of 25 DUI arrests. I had 25 and then I had 50 and then I had 75. And I used to love these pins that I wore on my, on my uniform that said, I arrested 25 people for DUI. I arrested, and I used to be, I used to love that. And don't get me wrong, taking DUIs off the street is a great thing. But I, I put this on a pedestal of like, man, this is this is what I do, right? And that's that's what I felt defined me. And there was emptiness in that. What how much money you make? There's emptiness in that if who you are is not right. So look at this industry. In Live Good, we're changing the industry. We're so radically different, it's crazy. And I've just talked about some of the things that make us radically different. But look at look at this industry. Think of the people, and you all we all have them in our mind. Think of the people in our in your mind that you're like, man, they're just slimy. Like they're just slime, like they're just shady. Like they're in thing after thing after thing. And like I would never like you, we all have them in our mind. Is that what you want to be? Or do you want to be the person where you say, you know what? They I, like I've always seen them, I've always seen them be committed. I've always seen them. They're, they're, they're a little bit different. They're, 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 they do things right. And so who you are is so much more important than what you will make or what you do, what rank you have, because in the long run, who you are, if you compose yourself in a way of integrity, in a way of commitment, in a way of, 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 uh, 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 loving people and helping people, people are going to know that 
they're going to see that in a 30, take a 30 year snapshot of that character of an individual, you're going to have success. You're going to have success because people are going to know, all right, I can, I can depend on them. I can trust them if your heart is right. But take a five year snapshot of somebody who's all over the place who's look just chasing the next rabbit and looking for greed and um people are going to know that too and 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 people are going to run from that all right i think i'm i think i'm there i think i had one more thing oh the last thing i got and then Brittany's taking over um leading from the front okay i will never teach anyone to build a business in a way that i didn't build it I will never teach anyone to build a business in a way that I didn't build it. The craziest thing to me is when I see leaders in this space tell people, you should do this, but they didn't build that way. They didn't build that. Way. But they tell others they should build that. Way. That boggles my mind. I teach the way that I built. I've laid out, it's not sexy, it's not pretty or anything like that, but at buildlg.com, buildlg.com, I've laid out exactly how I've built. You don't got to pay for it. It's absolutely free. There's no catches. There's no gimmicks. There's no, I'm going to get you into it. There's none of that. Buildlg.com, it's free for everyone to use. I've laid out exactly how I've built, literally the verbiage that I use still to this day that I use to recruit. I think we're at like, 225 people that we personally, 226 people that we personally sponsored at this point. Um, and I just do that consistently. I pound that stone over and over and over. Literally had somebody sign up yesterday or day before, day before, day before, day before yesterday, who I'd reached out back in August of 23. <laughs> she just finally joined. Right. And I, so I just keep pounding that stone and that's how I build. I don't have any, I don't do anything else. And I, so with that being said, if that's how I built, how crazy of me would it be to tell someone else to build a different way? That would be absolutely crazy. It would be crazy for me to tell anyone else to build a different way than how I built. I believe in leading from the front. I believe in uh, creating duplication. And I believe in $49 in effort. All right. That's what I got. It's on to my better 90%. She'll, she's way cooler. So. Oh, my yeah. gosh. I am not way cooler. Um, but... Um, I do have a few things that I wanted to talk about. Um, and then, I mean, he might have to chime in. He might chime in on some stuff too. Who knows? But um, I wanted to talk to you guys um, a little bit about loyalty. Um, loyalty has been coming up a lot in the past couple weeks. Um, in our household, we've had a lot of talks about loyalty. We've talked to some, you know, other people about where they loyal at, you know, what are their loyalties, those type of things. Trisha Costa actually made a post yesterday if anybody follows Trisha, um, and if she you you should, <laughs> and she posted on her page on are you team loyalty or are you team cross recruiting, right? And it was just an engagement post, um, and of course Josh and I are one hundred percent team loyalty, and so um, we commented on there, and I mean everybody gave their feedback, all of that stuff, um, but then also the thing is when it comes to things that are on your mind to know that they're true and they're truthful and you're following the right path, they usually come up more than one time, right? Josh and I talking about loyalty amongst each other in our house. Nobody knows about it, right? And then, you know, we have somebody else reach out to us about talking about loyalty. Then Trisha makes a post, you know, talking about loyalty. Um, those things start to trigger. And then this morning, I, um, I read a daily devotional. Um, that gets sent out. Um, we live in Southern Illinois. So there's this huge devotional that gets sent out all over the area that we live. Um, thousands of people get it every day. And um, we kind of read it together, right? Kind of to bring in that community. Um, and so my devotional today was on loyalty. And so I'm going to read you a little snippet of um, what my devotional said. And, you know, kind of um, the thing is, is like, when things keep coming up, it means that they're true and they're something that are of value and you want to follow them. And so my devotional said, loyalty is an old fashioned quality, but when a person exhibits a rare quality like loyalty, that person gets promoted and make, and it makes you stand out. Loyalty is being faithful, whether it's to your boss or to God or to someone else when difficulty tests your commitments. 
It's easy to be loyal when something is going great, but when the ship goes into the storm, that's when real loyalty comes out. And because God is more interested in your character than your career, your loyalty will be tested in your work. In the middle of those storms, he's seeing if he can trust you with great responsibility. So um, I got that today. And then when Tim asked us to speak on the call, he talked to Josh and I was like, I know exactly what I'm going to talk about um, when it comes to loyal and it's going to be loyalty because it's come up so many times. Right. Um, and, and, it, and it's building this character amongst people, right? Like-minded people and building, um, you know, on each other. And um, also I wanted to go into like that loyalty thing in live good is I think more than in another company because you know we're we're so different we're on a mission it's different we're changing this industry like that's the mission of live good right and we have to be loyal to that when josh and i said yes to live good like right? when he heard about live good and he said hey i'm going to sign up for live good and then i had to think about it because i am one of those people like i have to really analyze it i'm a little bit of a green personality i have to analyze it and figure out like if this is a fit for me right because once i commit to something i'm committed and, you know, you're not going to, you know, shake my faith and shake, shake me or try to get me out of anything. And so I had to think about that. I had to think about the real mission of live good and what it is that we're, that we're going to, you know, like we're trying to achieve here. Like we're the first of many, we're, we're going to, we're changing this industry eventually 10 years from now, all the network marketing companies, if they're still around, they're going to have to do what we're doing or they're not going to be around. Right. Like that's just, that's just the truth. Like the industry is changing. Everything is always changing, right? You you can't, you can, you can not change if you don't want to, but the world's going to change around you regardless if you want it to or not. And so we're always changing. And so I had to look at live good and be like, you know, like really look at it and say, we're going to be loyal to this. Like if we're going to do this, right? Because we were thinking about not being in the industry anymore. And we said, if we're going to do this, like we're going to do this, we're going to be loyal to the mission of live good. And that, that's a lot. That's a long-term commitment. It's not about making the money. It's about spreading the love of live good. It's about helping people in this world get ahead, right? Helping people not feel disgusted by what they, how they had been treated in other companies. It's about changing the viewpoint of other people and moving forward all together. And so um, that's what loyalty means to me. I wanted to talk to you a little bit about that. I also wanted to talk about um, just the mission that we're on. Um, I know yesterday, if you listened to Friday's call, Ryan, Mr. Dr. Ryan Goodkin said that he has all these products, right, that are that are that he's got ready to launch and he's been holding out on us. I was a little bit like, oh, Ryan, why are you doing that? Uh, why have you been holding out? But I understand, right? I understand there's ebbs and flows. I understand that there's reasons why, um, you know, for those things. And I'm excited for what's coming, right? He's going to be launching all these products, right? And um, the weight loss product <laughs> is going to be a huge thing. Josh and I come from a company where like that was what our thing was right? Like I know that Desiree said that him, you know, her and Tim, like with skinny body care, like that was the thing and it exploded where we came from. That was it too. Mm -hmm. And the momentum you could build around that is amazing. It's massive. And so that is something we need to be focusing on. Like we need to, the ones that are loyal, the ones that are on the same page, we're all thinking the same way, getting on that same page together and building, building this, right? Building LG, but, and then building around what is coming, whatever it is that Ryan has coming for us. We don't know all the exact details, but we will get together and we will do that. And it's about all of us showing up together, all of us building that fire together, because when a fire is out there, people can't not see the fire, right? When, I mean, if there's a fire, like if you driving down the street and you see smoke, like it's like everybody wants to stop and see, they want to see the fire, right? And so we need to be that fire and we need to ignite our social media and ignite our towns and our communities and all of that together around the same thing. So I don't know what it's going to be. If we're going to do a group challenge or we're going to have a group Facebook or some hashtags that kind of go, but it's going to be all about us doing it all together. Um, I will tell you that if we do a group, because I have thought about doing a group that is like all of us focus on maybe if it's a weight loss challenge or something like that, it will just be for LG. Never will I ever use that group to promote any other thing or to use 
you know, you adding, you coming into that group or anything like that, I'm 100% loyal um, to live good. Um, so know that if you add people to the group that we curate, it will only be for that only. Um, and I would say also get to Vegas. If you can get to Vegas, get to Vegas. Um, I've been seeing a lot of comments. I've been reading the comments while Josh was talking. Um, and I am excited to meet you guys. I'm excited to hug your necks, all of those things. Um, and um, be a, that, that's going to be like the fire starter, right? Like be in Vegas. If you can't physically be in Vegas, get the virtual ticket. But when you get that virtual ticket, block that time out, you guys. Like if, if so that you can be in that fire as much as you possibly can and be engaged in that. Don't let other things be happening and distracting you while you're watching that, while you're engaging, because you want to be a part of that as much as possible. And we're going to try our best to engage even the people that are virtually um, in that and so that we can all be going in the same direction, loyal to live good and the mission of helping others win. Yeah. So if you are going to be in Vegas, you will. I'm a hugger. So my my love language is is physical touch, just so you guys are aware. So if you and and I'm also a very large man. Um, so it's very tall, y'all. It's it's <laughs> it's uh, I, I've had people say he just hugs people and you can't stop him because he's so big. So just be warned um, that I'm a hugger. <laughs> it is what it is. Um, but here's what I love about <clears throat> the the event. That the event is really where the where the community is built. The event when we get around, I love these zooms. Don't get me wrong. I like mm -hmm. virtual. It's great to stay connected, but getting in front of people, getting around people, getting face to face. My friend Mike Smith, Mike, Mike and Rainy. We I, I knew Mike. Um, uh, again, he's on here right now. Um, I knew Mike uh, just over some zooms and stuff like that. I didn't know Mike. I just knew him over some zooms. Um, and then I went to a company convention and I remember Mike saw me, we gave each other a big hug. Mike's a big guy like me and Mike are about the same size. <laughs> and we gave each other a big hug and, and got to meet his, his shy wife. Um, and uh, she's kind of like my, uh, they, they connect well. And, and we have a friendship that'll be, it, it's not business related in any way. It's not business. It's not connected to business. We have a genuine friendship now. Right. And so I say that to say showing up at the event is so much more than just I'm going to get chained or I'm going to get trained up and I'm going to get rah, rah, rah session. And I'm going to get like we don't got to overhype products here to sell people on products because that's just not our business model. Right. So it's not that it's not like other. It's really about getting around the people and getting to know your people who's moving in the same direction with you. And oftentimes that comes from what we call cross line. Some of our best relationships in this space have been built from cross line connections. We call them uh, cross line. One of my buddies, we used to call each other cross line cabin cousins because we ended up going to a cabin like retreat together and we became uh, CCC cross line cabin cousins. Um, but that's some of the best connections that you that will make you your business strong because those individuals will help to support and lift you up. Um, so being at Vegas, being at the events will be is such a powerful way to build those cross line cabin connections. So with that, um, yes, who if you're going to be there, but uh, you can hug me virtually. It's, I, I get better hugs in person though. I just do. All right. Uh, that's what we got. I will pass it back to, I think Tim is unmuted or is Desiree taking over. Um, you guys, I love getting the opportunity to speak on these Saturday mornings. It's like sitting around the living room and chatting with my, my family. Mm -hmm. Who's taking over, Desiree or Tim? I would love for Tim to come take over sometime. But anyway, he probably sitting in the back. No, that's taking. <laughs> but anyway, Tim, jump in at any time. If you like, you know that. But Josh and Brish, I, I, I just want to say thank you guys. You always bring the noise and I love it. I love sitting around in the Zooms. And, uh, you know, again, like you said, there's no other place to be but in Vegas. So we can physically hug you guys, touch and feel. I am old school. I am a belly to belly to person to person person anyway. I, I mean, when the Internet came about, OK, it is, you know, uh, you know, I mean, you can reach a lot of people. But it's still not 
the same as a person. I don't care what they do. AI can come in. I don't care. It's never going to replace what God has put on this earth. And that's a human being. And like Dr. Aaron always say, talk to the humans, talk to the humans. Because guys, we need that social skills. We have to have it. When 2020 came, we all went crazy because it literally taught us something that we needed each other, but they told us we couldn't hug each other. But it was really mind boggling when we couldn't hug each other. But I- Hey, would, Dad, can you hear me? I hear you. There you go. There you go. What's going on? Go ahead. I'm sitting here with uh, tears in my eyes. Finally, we did it. Finally, after 30 years of doing this, people are starting to get it. Josh, you get it. But you married, you better have, brother. <laughs> Britt, <laughs> Britt, Britt, Britt gets it. I am so inspired right now. It's not even funny. We have our hands on something so big, so dynamic, where the average person, Des, talk to me. Des, you've been my best friend. You know what I'm saying. This is the first time we've experienced where the average person can win. Right. Which is why the average person can make it happen. Yeah. Making a difference in the average person, not not the Tim Miller, not the one percent that Ben talks about two percent through. We can make money. I can go out there and sell anything, and I'll make. I, 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 you know, when the average person, that's it, can that's win. It. That's it. That's why we're in the game because it's about really helping the average person. And we want the average person to even feel the difference of not just the upfront money, but the residual money. And that's what's funny because me and you talked this morning. I said, we got to do the call. And you're like, I'm sick. See, y'all don't know. Dez is dealing with a health issue right now. But she keep fighting. Keep fighting for her team. Keep fighting for her The other night. <laughs> in the emergency she called me this morning. I said, No, we're not gonna do it. I said, No, I'm gonna get some money on this call. And I called Josh. I said, Can you get on the call, Josh? Britt, can you get on the call? And we are here, guys. We're here for you guys, fighting for you. I cannot stress enough. And there's you've seen it with your online eyes. Yep. I'm good. I don't need to do this. I don't need to do calls. I don't need to do Zooms. I don't need to be in no events, no convent. I'm good. It's not about me. So true. But we're going to fix this stupid, crazy, backwards-ass industry for once. All these Ponzi schemes, and I know what's... All these Ponzi schemes get daily money doing nothing. No, stop. It's time to stop and do what's right. We save people money. We help people get healthy. In the same time, there's a compensation plan built in here where everybody can win. You know what I'm saying? Yes. And we're going to keep talking about that too, Tim. It's just about keep changing. The goal here or the mission here or the movement is like if we could just remove the money out the way. And if everybody That's right. That's just right. stay on the, the point of the mission of why we're here in the first place, and it was to help so that we can change and fix the industry. So forget about like the money. See, the money going to come. But when you get That's right. That's when right. And why 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 do movement, people why are people, people being sold on nonsense leadership? Telling people you got to pay more to make more. Well, That's nonsense. nonsense. It has to stop. It has to stop. Yeah. Ben Galinsky, Nader Kazan, they give us everything we need. We've been well, there. Well, it's actually proven, though. It's already proven because the, the people who were there in the forefront already, already, you proved it, basically, from that system that it can be done. 
Now, okay, let's move you out the way. Even if we moved you out the way because people look at you and say, oh, well, you going, well, of course, Tim Miller, because he got a big following. Okay, well, we can take just even some small people that didn't really make it happen and, and still look at our Christopher Hopkins, okay? Oh, well, he got lucky. No, it was about he still shared a link. And that system from and that link he, is provided. No, but this, he did it the right way. Well, I've right. never burned anybody. I take pride in that. That's right. I've never done that. I've never burned you. That's right. Have I ever burned you, Dad? I've known you, what, 20 years? Have I ever burned you? No. We go, did, I've we, ever gotten we, into, I got to say, I've always made money. I've always made money. Now, I may not have agreed with you on that last company that you got me in, but. Okay, stop. We still got it. <laughs> I was. <laughs> bad mistake, right? Oh, there was a bad mistake. To these leaders, and I'm yeah. like, he looks into Kelly. These are leaders, they're winning. There's a reason. It's no secret. It's no trick. It's no hype. It's no nonsense on the back end. It's no deals being made. Just straight up facts. And then we get Ben, ben taught me a long time ago. Ben said something to me. He said, internet markets can be good for a business and bad. See, these guys come at you, and it's like I posted a post today. I said, it's like a card trick. I'm looking for them aces in space. Yep. Because they're going to keep flipping, flipping the deck on the low end. And y'all just keep flipping and flipping and keep coming up with the same result. You go a year, five years, 10 years, same results. You're not winning. Oh, Tim. This is what they say. Oh, Tim, I got to take care of my family. Well, don't do it through network marketing. Yeah. Don't do it say, through the backs of other people either and off the back of pe other people's team. Exactly. You have ethic, and, and, honesty, and you got to have, what is it? Honesty, integrity, and ethics. I've been taught that from the beginning of when I was 19 years old. I am now 59. That's right. And I started in the industry, and I'm going to tell you, Amway was like my best trainer and my teacher, and I understand why. And people used to say, well, Amway was like a cult. But you know what? Now I have an understanding of why Amway taught us to do that. And I'm so glad I had a, that great training ground at that early age because I learned in the industry of network marketing that you want to have ethics and you want to have integrity and you That's never, right. ever, ever cross recruit simply because, see, number one, when I got into all these other companies that I've been a part of, I've always had success in every company that I've been a part of. And one of the reasons I can say I've had success is because I was willing to do the work. I was willing to be coached. I was willing to be trained, but I always took with me what my father always taught me and my mom always taught me was to always have integrity and always your name is all you have and if you one thing about integrity your integrity is intact until you give it away if you give your integrity away guess what no one can take your integrity you gave it away so Therefore, you want to always make sure that your name at the end of the day is great. So whenever I get in any company, why I can hit the ground running fast is because the people who I can go to believe in me, like me and trust me without me even selling them anything. They come in with me because they believe in me. They like me. They trust me that I will never, ever do anything wrong to their teams. I will never hurt them. And I will never, ever, ever break their damn line. If they go with me, believe me, if I know you, Tim, and if I know your friends and they were your friends and I decide I want to go to somewhere else, I will never ever go and take anybody from your team. Uh, if anything, I would say, hey, listen, Tim, one of your team members are looking at something that I'm doing. That is being honest. That's having integrity. So that's basically if I was to do something else, I would definitely go to Tim first because that's how I knew but that person. Here's the funny part before we hop off of here. When um 
Live Good was launched. You know, me, me, me and Ben are close. That's no secret. I went to Ben and put in the structure to allow people to work any business they want. That's right. Without getting terminated. I put that in place. That was the premise. And now I'm feeling a little salty because people take advantage of it. Right. We never said go well, into organizations, go play this game. And I know the game. I, I sit back and I watch. And I just laugh. And I'm like, man, if, if if I can just show enough people how to get to the sweet spot, That's if it. I can just get people to the sweet spot, get to help to repeat that. There is no pay plan in the world can touch what we have here with, with Live Good. Nothing. That's these right. generational matches. That's right. Folks are joining these companies that look like Live Good. Yes, $10 a month. Blah, blah, blah. I'm <laughs> like, man, y'all not paying these generations. Y'all don't get it. But, right. yes, what I'm going to say is there's three components of network marketing. First of all, we got to sponsor people. That's what we do. We network marketers, right? Yep. We got to get out there and get in front of this. So you got to sponsor people. And, and if you get network marketing, well, you can get in just about a product and save money. I get it. But you got to sponsor people. And then you got to duplicate. And where people are getting caught up, they're not duplicating. And then they blame the company. They blame Tim. They blame Dave. They blame the system. But people are following you. They're watching what you do. Does that make sense at all? Yes, it does. I, I know one thing. What it does is it allows people to say, well, wait a minute. They, you know, they get to use that excuse. I knew it. I knew it. I'm so glad I didn't join that. I knew it. Well, I knew think I about it. it. If, if, I, if, I, if I needed some quick money, with, yeah. you know me better than anybody. With my network, if I just made one post, could I sign a lot of people up? You gonna sign them up? You get that upfront money and get that free quick money. That's about it. But is it fair to the team? Not at all, because I trusted you with my team. But you told me, you told me yesterday, you came up in a conversation because I was burnt out the other day. Remember? He was, yeah, y'all. He was ready. To I throw was you. done. I, I was like, I'm tired. This is just crazy. On the yeah. on <laughs> and what yeah. did you say? You said, said, Tim, it's not about them. It's you folk. You got an organization out here that cares and wants to win. So thank you, Des. You're welcome, Tim. But yeah, sometimes we all need that encouragement and we all need our cup filled because, you know, at the end of the day, as people, as leaders that get on these calls, you're constantly, Britt, Josh, guys, you guys are always pouring out, pouring out to others, and somebody needs to pour into you. Somebody got to pour back into you, because at the end of the day, you know, like I always say, who's on your front line? You know, who's, who's you know, keeping you accountable and pouring back into you? Because, you know, you always out, out there, and Tim's pouring out there, you're pouring. Sometimes, you know, they're human, so they can get burnt out as well. And I, you know, I had to remind him and a few other people, like, listen, guys, get out your own way. Get out your feelings for a minute. And remember, it's bigger than us. This is about the mission. Don't let the devil come up in here because, you know, we got something good coming. And, and, and he's trying to seek to destroy what we have going on here. And I refuse because I know we're here to change the industry. I never forgot the mission. I know what the mission is about. It's about getting people healthy getting people to um, That's right. go broke doing it. And we also are able to change infrastructures around the world of people's income actually increasing, you know? So we want to just stay on that mission. And I want to say thank you, Josh and Britt. Everybody put fire uh, in the chat. We don't want to burn y'all, uh, you know, um, you know, uh, keep y'all on these calls. So we want, you know, we definitely respect you uh, this Saturday morning, but I want y'all guys to put them fire in the chat and I want y'all to really give it up. Well, let me tell you this, this, before you wrap it up. Okay. I just paid my membership for another year. So I'm two years out. Oh, I know. I love that. Oh yeah, guys. I forgot about that. You guys, I don't care. I, I keep, um, and you know, saying it to everybody, 
go to your back office. I didn't even know they put that, uh, the, the extra, <laughs> I didn't even know that part, but you can actually pay up for two years. Isn't that great? Now talking about telling your team to, to, to actually go in there and click that button. I mean, what is that happening? I mean, you're creating solid residual income. You know what I mean? What, what business does this? I'm, so guys, and, and, I, and the bottom know, line is, the bottom line I want to tell everybody is I will be here for you as long as you're here with me. I'm running the race. This is a long-term play. This is not a gimmick or a trick. I will never, ever tell you anything wrong. But if I do get it wrong, I'll make it right. I don't do Ponzi schemes. I don't play these money games. I don't manipulate people. It's never going to happen. That's just my DNA. I am in this to win it. And nothing makes me happier than to see other people winning. It's not about me. It will never be about me. Des, I love you so much. Thank you for everything you do. Kelly, I don't want to start calling names. All of you guys are just, you guys are amazing. You guys are literally making more money than 90% of the network marketers out here that are on the internet posting that nonsense. You guys are winning. Get focused on the focus. Get to help to and just keep repeat that till you go diamond it will change your life back to you Des. i'm done all right i'll go out all out massive action guys i just put it in the chat just go out all go all out massive action they were the words of even nader kazan he said that that's what our goal is and our next mission is for all of us on this call is just go out all out massive action tell everybody it doesn't matter. Don't take it personal. The results that come along, all you're doing is sharing the information. Share your link, share your link, get in front of this, because guess what? We about to drop the bomb and you do not want to miss it. You don't want to hear about all the numbers in the company, about all of, we got uh, 2 million, 3 million, 5 million. How many of them are on your team is the question. Hey, hey, Dan, just give them a, a, little, a little hint of what's going to happen when this weight loss product hit. Say it again. Give them a little hint of what's a little clue of what's going to happen when weight loss hits. Well, you give them a little clue about what their income is going to do, because I know the income is definitely going to increase. The matrix is going to grow like crazy. You saw it happen in skinny body care. I seen it. I mean, I mean, everybody's just checks went just like through the roof, through the roof. But what does everybody want to do right now? You want to get ahead of it. Wanna, build now. Don't right, wait build, on it. Build now, but go in and get your uh, start. Um, start making your own little uh, like weight loss groups so you can start putting your. Yep, uh, I have one. Yeah. Start getting your groups together. And um, and guys, again, you don't want to. You don't have to put a bunch of uh, live good people in your groups. What you're trying to do is you want a lot of prospects. So on your front page, for example, when you're on Facebook, what you want to post is, uh, you know, for more tips, for more motivation or tips. Like I'll put something out on my wall, uh, something like motivation and or whatever. And I might say, you know, for more uh, posts like this, you know, join my free Facebook uh, group. That's how, you know, I do. I give up some little information and it has nothing to do with uh, live good. But, you know, I might say for more um, posts like this, for more tips, motivation, you know, join my free Facebook group. And then I'll have people hit my my group that hit that link. And then I just add them into my Facebook group. What I noticed that is a lot of live good people wanting to get in those groups. So that's not the goal here. What you want is you want more prospects getting into that group, because when we drop the bomb, we want to be able to, you know, uh, again, have those prospects already in that group so that was the purpose of why and then you want to also put healthy weight loss uh you know recipes and anything. yeah you can go you can go on fake you could just go to google and put in weight loss recipes and grab them yeah weight loss recipes and um even now um what i put putting in my groups now is even some of the some of the uh live good stuff too the testimonials from the live good from that group um so 
if that's what you want to do. But if reach out if you guys if you need to um you know ask more questions about that. But other than that, that's basically just set yourself up a, a new uh you know do a group. So everybody, again, we're gonna wrap this call up as we said before, and we are gonna say hey, give it up for Brit, Brit and Josh. We'll see you guys all in Vegas. I hope everybody um got your links too, so that you can get your rooms, get your get into Vegas. By all means necessary, guys. Do whatever you what it takes. I will be there. I'll be there too. All right. Bye in the chat. Open up the chat. Open up the room. Uh, so everybody can say bye. And get bye, everyone. everyone. Recording stopped. So much, Brit, Josh, Brit, you guys. Bye. bye. I'm out. Thank, thank you, Brit. Thank you, Josh. Bye, everyone. Thank you, Desiree. Thank you, Jim. Bye. Thank you so much. Happy Saturday. Hey, Omega. I see you. Love I love you. Love you. Love you. Love you. Feel better, sweetie. All right. Love you. <laughs> Oh, Great God. job, guys. Thanks, everybody. Bye. 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 All right. Make sure y'all support hey, each other's up. posts out there and live good world. I, oh, yes. I see churches on here. Hey, Ooh. Hope, I see you doing anything, too. <laughs> Keep it up. You, you, you definitely doing a lot of posts out there. I see you. Take care, everyone. Time to get it. Yes. Keep yes, it up, sir. Omega. I see you, Omega. I know. I know. I, I, I love it. I feel it. Yeah. Good job. I Good job. All right. Right. Peace. <laughs> Thanks.